Say goodbye to VLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH, and XLOOKUP. Meet the DGET function. It gives you the same results with far less complexity. Let's jump in. First, understanding the dget function in Excel. We have one of the most underrated lookup functions in Excel, dget. And the best part? It's actually very easy to use. Let me show you how it works. Here, we have a table with sales data, and we want to find out the sales for the manager named Sarah. All we need to do is type equals dget. First, for the database, we select the entire table. Next, the field is what we want to return, in this case, sales. And finally, the criteria define what we're filtering by. We're filtering by manager, and the value we want is Sarah. So we select the criteria range and close the parentheses. Press Enter. And instantly, Excel returns Sarah's sales. Now, here's where it gets really powerful. If we change the manager name from Sarah to someone else, like Emma, the result updates automatically. Not only that, we can also change the field. Right now, we're returning sales. But what if we want to know the profit? We simply change the field, and Excel gives us the answer immediately. To make this dynamic, you can use a drop-down list. Select the cell, go to Data, Data Validation, and choose a list containing all manager names. Now, you can change the value from the drop-down, and the result updates automatically. Similarly, you can create drop-downs for other columns, such as products, regions, units, profit, and more, to make your analysis fully interactive and dynamic. The same works for products, regions, or any other column in the table. That's the dget function. Simple, flexible, and extremely powerful. And you might be surprised to learn that dget is actually part of a larger family of database functions in Excel. Next, dget versus vlookup. Here, we have a table with countries, products, and sales values. Now suppose we want to find the sales for the country Germany. Most people would immediately think of vlookup. Using vlookup, we type vlookup. The lookup value is Germany. The table array is the entire table. The column index number is 3. Since sales is in the third column, and we choose exact match. We press enter, and we get 8,700. So yes, VLOOKUP works. Now, this time, we type dget. For the database, we select the entire table, including headers for the field. We specify sales for the criteria. We filter by country equals Germany. We press enter, and we get the exact same result, 1,700. So far, both functions do the same job. Why dget can be better than vlookup? Here's where dget really shines. With vlookup, if we change the output from sales to product, nothing updates automatically. Because we hard-coded the column number, we'd have to manually change the column index. But with dget, all we need to do is change the field name from sales to product. And instantly, the result updates. No column counting, no broken formulas. VLOOKUP depends on column position. DGET depends on column names. DGET is more dynamic, readable, and robust when working with structured data. If your data has clear headers and conditions, DGET can be a smarter alternative to traditional lookup functions. Next, DGET versus index match. Which one is easier? So far, we've compared dget with vlookup. Now let's see how it stacks up against index match, which many Excel users consider the ultimate lookup combo. Here we have a slightly different table. We've got countries on the left and monthly sales across the top. Our goal is simple, find the sales for Spain in month of April. Using index match first, we'll type the index function. The array is the entire table. After the array, we need the row number. This is where we add our first match function. First, we match by country. The lookup value is Spain. We find Spain within the list of countries, so we select that column, add a comma, and choose an exact match. 
Next, we need to match by month. So, inside index, we add another match function. This time, the lookup value is April. The lookup array is the row containing the month names. So we select those columns and choose an exact match again. Finally, we close the two parentheses, one for match and one for index, and press Enter. Excel returns the correct result. The result is correct. But let's be honest. This formula is long, has nested functions, and is easy to break if you're not careful. Now let's use dget with dget. The same result takes far less effort. The database is the entire table, including headers. The field is April, because that's the value we want. The criteria is country equals Spain. That's it. We press Enter, and we get the exact same result. Dynamic behavior. Just like index match, dget is dynamic. If we change the month, the result updates automatically. No column numbers, no nested formulas, no confusion. Index match is powerful, flexible, and widely used. dget is simpler, cleaner, and easier to maintain. Next, dget versus xlookup, the final comparison. Now let's compare dget with xlookup, one of the most popular modern Excel functions. In this file, we're no longer looking at just April. We also want to retrieve values for January. Using xlookup, we'll start with xlookup. We look up Canada, search within the country column, return values from the April column. We press enter and the result appears immediately. Simple, fast, and very clean. Using dget now, let's do the same thing with dget. The database is the entire table, including headers. The field is April because that's the value we want. The criteria is country equals Canada. We press enter and we get the exact same result, copying the formula across months. Now here's where things get interesting. With xlookup, if we copy the formula across to January, we first need to lock the country reference using F4, but the month reference stays fixed, so the result doesn't change unless we manually update the return column. In other words, xlookup requires extra adjustments. D, get handles. This automatically with D, get. Lock the criteria range once using F4. Drag the formula across. That's it. The month updates automatically and the values change correctly without any edits. You might be thinking, xlookup supports wildcards and approximate matches. Doesn't that make it more powerful? Surprisingly, D, get has an advanced criteria system that can outperform wildcards in multi-condition scenarios. And that's exactly what we'll explore next. dget wildcard feature. This is powerful. One of the most underrated features of dget is that it has a built-in wildcard capability. Let's look at a quick example. The problem, suppose we're looking for Michael's sales. We remember his first name, but we don't remember his full surname. Using xlookup with wildcards, with xlookup, we can still solve this, but it takes a few extra steps. We start with equals x, lookup. For the lookup value, Michael. Using an asterisk as a wildcard. We select the name column as the lookup array. We select the sales column as the return array. Then we set the match mode to wildcard match. Once we press enter, we get 134,700, which matches the table. It works, but it's a bit long. Now let's use with D get. It's much simpler. The database is the entire table. The field is sales. The criteria is just the name. Press enter. And that's it. No wildcard symbols, no match mode, no extra settings. Why this is so powerful, D, get automatically treats text criteria as a wildcard match. So, typing Linda matches, all without changing the formula. Even though dget looks simple, it's doing a lot of powerful work behind the scenes. And if you're still not impressed with dget function, 
There's one more feature that makes it even more interesting. Next, another hidden feature, dget or condition. There's one more powerful feature of dget that we want to show you. Let's say we're not sure about a person's exact name. It could be Michael or Charlie. Logically, this is an OR condition, Michael or Charlie. How dget handles or conditions. Adding an OR condition is surprisingly easy. All we need to do is extend the criteria range down by one more row, add the second possible name. So now, instead of one row, our criteria range includes both names. We press Enter. And D get returns. Michael sales. What's happening here is simple. D get checks. Michael then checks Charlie. Whichever one matches first, it returns that result. Testing another example. If we change the name to Linda and Linda exists in the dataset, D get immediately returns Linda's sales. Important limitation to no. There's one key rule with dget. Only one record can match the criteria. If both names exist in the dataset, for example, Michael and Linda, dget will return an error because it doesn't know which value to choose. However, if one name exists, for example, David, the other does not exist, for example, Alexander, then dget correctly returns the result clean, simple, and no extra logic required. Works best when the result is unique. So not only does dget support wildcards, it also has a built-in OR logic, something many Excel users don't even realize exists. And that's the power of the dget function. From simple lookups to dynamic fields, wildcards, OR conditions, and even outperforming vlookup, index match, and XLOOKUP in the right scenarios. If you're enjoying dget, don't miss our upcoming dsum video. It's the smarter way to replace some ifs, filter, and more. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.